Royal wrap over the knuckles for the Queen and her team. Is it justified? What do you think? Well, I think some of the figures that the PAC report has been throwing out have been start taken slightly out of context. We've got to remember we're looking at a year, 2012 to 13, where the royal family travelled more extensively than ever before here in the world because of the Diamond Jubilee. Um, it was also the first year that the sovereign support grant was used to fund the royal household instead of the civil list and the grants in aid. So they haven't done a very good job, and they're down for their last million. Well, I, I mean, you've got to look at the funding over the next few years too. It was thirty-one million pounds that year. It's thirty-six million pounds this year, and thirty-eight million pounds the, um, the year after. So I'm pretty sure the books will balance pretty soon. Sunny, what do you think? Well, I, th I think it's a bit, uh, uh, you know, difficult to ask of the of, of people to stump up so much money, increasing amounts of money every year for for the royal household. And, royal, and you know, the report said quite clearly that they don't actually have their finances in order. They've not managed their finances very well. You know, they've got to figure out how to reduce costs, and they've also got to figure out how to increase their income. And you know, this is, I think, an important way. We need some accountability for the royal household, and I think this is a good start on that. Lots of comments, which. I I actually agree with Sunny, I have to say, Roya. Um, this is from Angela Chatfield on Facebook. She says, it's not good value for money. As her money goes up, our money goes down. Amelia Elliott on Twitter says, the royals are irresponsible with their money and are setting a bad example. I mean, it seems that austerity has kind of passed them by a bit, hasn't it? I don't think that's fair. And I think just to pick up on one of your points just there was actually wrong. Um, the royal family cost um, the taxpayer five years ago about 62p. That's now down to 53p a year. And I think poll on poll, every year we see um, the majority of the public agree that 53p a year is very good value they for the have monarchy. 415 people on their staff books. They I mean, that they're not making cuts, really, are they? Well, they have to... actually they have actually brought staffing levels down in the last five years by about six percent, and I so think that's six percent over five years. Well, uh, you know, they've brought they've brought down travel costs by 24 percent. You know, it, but we're essentially paying for their travel. I mean, the point is that if everyone else has to cut their spending across the country, and we are cutting spending not only across the country but even on some of the poorest people in this country. The royal family should also play a part in that. OK, this is from uh, Smith June on Facebook. The Queen is good value for money. The palace should be repaired to whatever degree it needs. And Mitzi Klein on Facebook says, without our Queen, people would not know we existed. It would just be another small island. So there is an awful lot of support for her. Yeah, and that's so fair so what's the best way of dealing with it? What would you say to her and her household they need to cut down on? Well, I think the report was quite good on that. It said they have to increase the amount of hours that uh, you know people can see the palaces, they should increase the, the amount of places that people can see. Isn't that danger you know, that it'll become Disneyfied? Is that what you want? But at the end of the day, you know, let, let's just accept the fact that the, the, the royal family is essentially a tourist attraction. That's what they're, they're for. You know, so let's not beat around the bush and pretend that there's something more to that. And so we should actually, you know, we are essentially subsidising those palaces. And why not open them up for public consumption? And briefly, Royal, what would you She's do? absolutely right. The Royal Family are a tourist attraction that generate millions of pounds a year for this country. And without them, we'd lose that revenue. Right. But we should, they should be much more efficient in how they manage our money.